Anyone in here know Cat? Say hello to Cat. <laughs> the celebration continues. This tank's been busy. <laughs> it's been busy. Is there anything you'd like to share? You're good. Well, Cat and <laughs> we love you. Do you love her? Kat and Jay came over a couple weeks ago to the house to let me know that she wanted to be baptized. It was amazing. It was amazing. But they brought Olive Garden. That was even better. <laughs> so if you, I'm just kidding. If you want to get baptized, you just need to bring some Olive Garden. <laughs> would, you, would you all pray with me for a moment for Kat, please? please? Father, we thank you for, for Kat. We thank you, Lord, for her obedience. We thank you, Lord, that when you prompt her by your spirit, that she responds well. Lord, I, uh, I thank you for her friendship. I thank you not only for her, but for her whole family. I thank you, Lord, for bringing them to our church. They're a tremendous family, and we love them. And they bring so much joy and light into this family. So we're very, very thankful. Lord, we pray your greatest blessing over her. We pray, Lord, that this choice of obedience would be an amazing blessing. That this would be the, the threshold that she, when she walks through this right now, that it would be a whole new thing for her between her and you. That her intimacy with you would grow, that her love for you would increase, and her passion to seek the lost would increase immeasurably. We thank you for that, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' name. God, who's your one and only Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. Based on that confession, I now bury you with Christ, and like him, you'll be raised to new life because you trusted in the mighty power of God that raised Christ from the dead. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, that's it. Does anyone in here know Mandy Hachin? <laughs> Come on, Mandy. Mandy was baptized when she was itty bitty bitty and doesn't really remember any of it, but she has a relationship with God now that's flourishing and she wants to really be obedient to him. When he prompts her to do something, she wants to do it with reckless abandon. That's what we talked about. And we pray that, that would, this would be the start of it right now. Pray with me, please, for her. Lord God, we just love you and we thank you so much for Mandy. We thank you for her obedience. We thank you, Lord, that when she reads the word of God and when she feels the spirit of God prompting her that she is obedient. Lord, I pray that tonight would be a night that would never leave her mind, that you would burn this memory into her mind and it would always be at the forefront of her thoughts. Anytime the evil one would come, that this thought of this moment of obedience and blessing would be forefront in her mind. Lord, I pray your greatest blessing upon her, her husband, and her child. Lord, I just thank you so much for bringing this family to this church. What a gift you have bestowed upon Revolution Church with this family. Blessings in Jesus' name. Do you wish to say anything? You're good. Who's your one and only Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. Based on that confession, I now bury you with Christ, and like him, you'll be raised to new life because you trusted in the mighty power of God that raised Christ from the dead. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. How about a warm wel revolution welcome to John? <laughs> this is John Roop. He's got two little boys running around in this place, Everett and Bennett, great little guys. Just so you know, the reason why we named our son Jackson Bennett is because of his son Bennett, who's so rocking and awesome. We couldn't resist, so we had to do it. But well, this is John. If, if you mind me sharing something real quick, is that okay? Brothers, clean, we're, we're good, right? Okay, so we talked about baptism the other day. I didn't even get approval. Did you see, I just went right over that. I'm just sorry I missed you guys the last five weekends. You know, I miss my church, miss my friends, miss the people I don't know. So, 
That's my story and I'm sticking to it. John and I spoke on the phone yesterday and uh, we talked about baptism because we've talked about it a couple of times and he, he told me that he had to clean up some things first before he did this. And I explained to him, this is just an opportunity for us to all to know truth. You don't need to clean anything up. You don't need to clean anything up for Jesus to love you and to save you. He saves you, okay? He saves you. He, he saves you and you don't need to be cleaned up to get into the tank and be baptized. This is an act of obedience. This is him obeying the Spirit of God, prompting him to do something. Obey me, John. Obey me, John. And I'll bless you. And this is what's happening right here before your eyes. Let's pray for him now, okay? Lord God, we thank you for John. We thank you for his obedience, Lord. We, we, and we also know that, Lord, during his stubbornness, his rebellion, Lord, you've taught him things. And so, Lord, I pray that tonight, that this too would be a threshold, a defining moment in his life, that when he was obedient to you, you began to bless him in ways he has never even imagined. Increase his trust for you, his, increase his love for you, increase his desire to reach those that are lost and hurting and broken. Encourage him as a father, encourage him as a man of God. Help him know that you love him even with his flaws, Lord. I thank you for that. Lord, I pray your greatest blessings on him. Let this act of obedience be a life changer for him moving forward. Lord, we pray not only your blessing on him, but on his two sons, Lord, that they would see a man of God as their father right here, Lord, and they would, they would come to you because of the example that he sets before their eyes. I thank you for that in Jesus' name. John, who's your one and only Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. Based on that confession, I now bury you with Christ, and like him, you'll be raised to new life because you trusted in the mighty power of God that raised Christ from the dead. I baptize you in the name of the Father. Hold your nose the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. 